So today we're back for the first game of the season. We've made a transfer, we sold two players, and we brought a load of staff in. We take on Leeds, and we potentially could be taking on Bournemouth afterwards, depending on how we feel after the first match. Jesse March thinks we're going to have a season of struggle, which, given we barely survived last year, is not a shock. But hey, it's up to him what he thinks, honestly. I brought in a load of staff members and got rid of some more people. So, let's go with the staff. We brought in Harrison Kingston as a performance analysis. We brought in Daniel Rainey as a director of football. He's actually quite good at the role. We brought in Jonathan Duckett as a recruitment analysis. We brought in Mark Gillette as a physio. We brought in Ramon Plans, or Ramon Plans as a chief scout to replace the one we already had. He's quite good. We brought in Michael Emanello as a scout as well. We brought in Edmar Lopez as a technical director. We brought in Christian Pavolo as a scout. We've also brought in Tony Phyllis-Kirk as a under-21s coach. We've brought in Jay Socket as a recruitment analysis. If that's how I'm not meant to say the last name, then I don't know what else to say here. We've brought in Trevor Crowley as an under-21s assistant manager. We've brought in Vinny North as the under-21s performance analysis. And we've brought in Alan Mathurin as a under-21s physio. I think we've done quite well for ourselves in the staff point of view. But like I said, we've also sold some players. We sold one of Rondon to CSK Moscow for 2.1 million. He wasn't really good enough for what we had. And we needed to shift on some players because they weren't really good enough. And they were on too high of a wage. We've also sold Michael Keane to Olympiacos for just 1.6 million. Which is a bit of a loss considering what he was brought in on. And yeah, I, I feel like maybe we should have done better with the deal. But we are also only paying a bit of his wages still. We needed to get rid of a lot of his wages and it made sense to get rid of him because of how much he was earning at the time. I also sold Charlie Whitaker for £575,000. He's also been bought by Burnley and he's playing for them, so it's weird to say the least, that's the case. But what I have done is actually managed to sign a new left back in Tony Lato. We needed an extra body in the area and I thought, you know what? But £825,000, he's not bad financially. And if we can make a profit on him down the line, it'd be good. He's going to be a squad player, backup player effectively. But hey, it's not like it's the end of the world here. If we don't make the best of profits from him, I just thought, good opportunity to sign a good player who doesn't have the best potential. It can only be a decent Premier League player. But for what he can cover for the time being, it's useful. He can play in both the left back and the left wing back position, so it made sense to bring the guy in. Well rounded, but just not as good as what we could have hoped for. He was honestly the best I could find for as cheap as I was looking for here. What we do know I have is 5.04 million and 131,000 in wage budget left to spare, so we could potentially sign another player. Roberto Gadlidini is someone who's on my radar because he's available for 2 million pounds right now, but I'm not sure if I want to sign him for that kind of money at the moment, especially when I'm just looking to potentially go for younger players down the line. It's one of those things. But still, we are going to be taking on Leeds today. I'm hoping that today will be a good start for the season, especially after Jesse Marsh in the game has outright said that we're not good enough to survive. And maybe he's right, given what's happened in real life. But yes, we have a lot of things to look forward to. Firstly, game of the season. And first, I'm actually managing the Premier League this year. So I have no idea what's going to happen at all. Hopefully, we'll be doing okay here. This is going to be my starting 11, though. I already had decided. And with the number of injuries we have in the left winger position and the number of players I'm able to cover with other areas, this is what I'm going to go with here. Jordan Pickford and goal. Neil Patterson as a right back. Tarkovsky as one of the centre backs along with Connor Cody. Tarkovsky is actually better as he prefers to play on the right in a two-man defence. So it makes sense to bring him there. We've got Mekalenko as the left back. I'm actually choosing James Garner as the DM. And I think he's probably better as a deep line playmaker for the long term than he is short term. So... While he's probably not amazing now, I feel like we can definitely benefit with him playing here for the short term. For the long term, at least, anyway. It means that Drisa Gay starts at the box of the box. We've got Amadou Onana as a Mazzala. We've got Drake McNeil playing as the inverted winger on the right-hand side of the pitch. Anthony Gordon, the inverted winger on the left side of the pitch. And Neil Mopé 
for now playing up front until we get our best players back. Begovic, Holgate, Decore, Davies, Irobi, Vinegre, Gray, Seamus Coleman, and Tony Lato are all on the bench. So let's see how this goes, shall we? So given how this is going to be important for a potential relegation fight, and given Leeds are not exactly doing amazing themselves right now in real life, this is one of the most important things we go for. They're going for a 4 2 3 1 formation. I think we can win, though. So hopefully, this isn't going to be the beginning of bad things to come for us. Okay, so ball's gone forward. I think what's going to annoy me more is the fact that in my Youth Academy Challenge save, I've actually got more money to play with more than I like to admit. But here we are anyway. Patterson on the ball finds McNeil, and we definitely know what we can do. I think. The team's definitely underperforming in terms of what I think they can do. McNeil with a good ball to Onana with keeping the ball nicely. Look at this. And Mikolenko on the ball can do something potentially. Plays in the middle, trying to find McNeil. And that's a good start. Drake McNeil scores inside the first three minutes. That's his debut, right? It is literally going his debut. That is the perfect start we could have wished for. And hopefully, the first of many goals we can score with this tactic and the system we are able to put in place it's perfect so can we get more let's find out okay so McNeil takes the free kick Tarkovsky's got a chance it's 2-0 inside 36 minutes James Tarkovsky's got a goal in his debut and suddenly well I generally thought this would be more difficult than it's been so far so I'm a this is a, a very pleasant surprise but I didn't think this would be a good start McNeil's got a goal and assist on his debut another free kick Who's taking this one? It's James Garner. If he scores on his debut, then it's literally a hat trick of a debut goal, doesn't it? I think he's got a chance here. No, he doesn't. Never mind. I was optimistic. Okay, so Christensen with a throw. We've got to make sure that despite having a two goal lead, we don't get complacent, but get the ball back anyway. Clear up the line. And Melpe finds Gay. Here's Onana now. And finds James Gordon. Is Finds Gordon. Here's Mikolenko. Could go for goal. Still going over the bar. Okay, there we go. Okay, so half time it's 2 0, and it's not even been close, has it so far? It's probably the best starts we could have wished for. We need to go a bit more and see what else happens, but hey, 2 0 at half time. Not a bad start at all. Here we are now. So, who's the gunner gay? Oh, McNeil's on the ball. So, Drake McNeil for his second of the game? No. Mizzier denies. This has definitely gone but much better than expected. I will probably take off Connor Cody in a bit because I don't think his ratings being been particularly pleasant to look at. So we need more than that, I think. But Cody over the ball and heads over anyway. So Sosa. Aronson. Sosa again. And Streak. This is a good bit of possession for Leeds, actually. Rodrigo and Sinistera almost gets a goal. Okay. Okay, so we've got a throw. Patterson to take here. It. It's... I don't know what he's trying to do there, but it's not very clever. Here's Garner. Uh, Tarkovsky now on the... Oh, my God. What are you doing? Why are you draining on the ball? Is that one of his traits, isn't it? Aronson. And... Oh, Patterson gets the ball back. Here's McNeil, though. Here's Garner. Now, Patterson. And it's a ball to McNeil. Complete across. Has done. Oh, nada. Over the bar. Could have been more. Okay, they got, we've got to defend a free kick here. I've made my five substitutes. Holgate's on the pitch, along with Lato, Arobi, Gray, and Vidagrea. And Pitford's almost fumbled it, but Lato gets the ball away. So here we are. Having to defend our lives, and Pitford gets the ball. Okay. Okay. Is there more to come? It doesn't feel like there's more to come, surely. It feels like a pointless highlight, but Pitford plays the ball forward. Or not. Neil Mope should score. He should get them on target, at least. Ladies and gentlemen, we have won the first game by two goals today, and that's a pleasant surprise, I'd like to think. So, who knows? Maybe this could be what we're looking for after all. But yeah, so far, one game in. We're one of three teams to have won the first game of the season, but it wasn't against the strongest of opposition, so we'll need to be more cautious. I might do the next game, actually. But yeah, Tarkovsky and McNeil both getting goals in their debut, so this is really, really useful. So that's good. And loaded debutants. We need to do more and better, I think. But yes, this has actually been a pleasant surprise. Wolves holding Liverpool to a draw. And then Newcastle beating Nottingham Forest is not a shocker. Isaac or Isaac gain a brace there is good. 
got a lot of draws so far on the opening day of the season. So I think given everything that's happened, this has been a pleasant surprise. We've managed to sign a new under-18s physio in the form of Mark Kuzman since we last talked to each other. We've been drawn against Burnley in the League Cup, or the EFL Cup, and we might just be waiting for a work permit for under Sheldrup as a new signing. Gonna be honest with you, wasn't planning on signing him, but then the scouts came to me and said, by the way, this guy is an option we can buy. And I realised, oh, that makes sense to buy an 18-year-old who has a lot of potential for the first team. But Andre Shodrup makes sense for signing. Championship level right now, we're paying him 50 grand a week when he does officially sign. But 2.5 million up front, an extra 5 million down the line. It makes sense to bring him in, even if it means we're going to add some transfer debt to the overall debt we already have right now. Which is slightly awkward, but we've already got rid of about 3 million of it. So I guess it's okay, short term. Uh, yeah. We're going to get Sheldon to sign for us. This is going to be interesting to say the least, isn't it? But yes, we're taking on Bournemouth. If we win this game with one, two out of two, we'll be one of four teams to have done that along with Man City, Newcastle and Arsenal. So it's possible we can win our first two games of the season. And given who we have taken on, and given the Bournemouth lost their first game, and Leeds got destroyed by City in the last match, we should make it two from two, right? Right? Either way though, we are not going to change the lineup at all. We're going to keep everything the same and... I like to think that what we have here has worked since we got the result last time. Orobi did pick up a knock. He's out for about two days. I don't really have anyone I can really bring in to replace him. So we're not going to make any changes at all to the start of the from last time. So if it works, don't change a thing. So let's see how we do, shall we? So this is this formation that they're going to go with. And it's an interesting one. Very defensive, but... I think we can break it down, personally. And that's just me. I will say the fact that it was literally called a relegation six-pointer at the beginning of the game is interesting, but we have the ball here. If we win a ball move and we get six points from the first two matches, then this really does make this a lot easier than I was expecting it to be. But I've not used the updated database release tool. I don't want to do that, but yes, here we are. Milakovic. Here's Garner, though, right on the ball. Onana finds Garner again. Could play it out wide or play in the middle. Has found a Nana. Go to goal. Hits the bar. Gone over. So that's good. Okay, free kick. Go to the take. I know we can do a good stuff from here. But nil has hit the bar. I think it was McNeil. Half time, nil, nil. Not really that impressed, honestly. I'll have the honest view. This feels like what I'm expecting this save to be like. Difficult to get points in. But as things stand, we will go up the fourth. So. There is that, I suppose. But I don't want to give Bournemouth for their first point of the season. So, we need to do better than this. Come on, guys. I think we've got an injury. I just noticed. But here's Patterson on the ball. And he's going to try and do something. So, here is Garner. Now, Garner again. Onana has hit the woodwork again. It's the third way we've hit the woodwork in this match. And there was an injury to Michael Enko. So, that's awkward. Lato's going to come on. Hopefully, we'll... he's nervous. Maybe I won't do that then. Okay, so we've got a throw. Venegri is taking it. Here's Cody. Now Venegri again. And I feel like if we get the opening goal, it's going to be ours to take it. We've had all the chances so far. Pavkovsky now finds Patterson. And if we can just do a lot of what we're hoping for, it'd be great. But here's Adrisa Gay. Now McNeil. Neil Mope. Surely. How on earth are we? We need Cowboy Lewin back quickly. Okay, free kick. I've brought on Seamus Coleman as well, but here's Demario Gray to take the free kick. Be nice to get something out of this. And it doesn't feel like everything's happening there, but Kelly will not get there first. Coleman does instead. Here's Venegri now, Lato, and his shot's blocked. And I hope, I really hope that's not the highlight because that is awkward. He's just running away with the ball. Here's Pearson though, and Tavernier finds more, but it doesn't actually. Tarkovsky gets the ball with it. Gray gets it back now. Here's Coleman. Hopefully this is going to lead to something productive. But here we are now. Coleman and Tarkovsky now on the ball. Here's Garner. And he's lost the ball. Kiefer Moore. Please do not be what I think is going to happen. Solanke. That's a, I think it's a save or deflection. I don't know what's happened there. But that is bad defending. We are, we are being caught here. I might need to go positive. That's what the problem is. I've been balanced this entire time. and not realised it. Or forgot I was balanced. Gone positive now. Tarkovsky on the ball. 
finds Coleman and Damari Gray, finds Adrisa Gunnagay, trying to find McNeil, who have made the striker at the moment. Here's Tavernier, and he's been cleared forward, but only as far as Tarkovsky, who's got time and space to himself, can go forward if he needs to, but here's Coleman, Garner, and that could be a good ball to Gray if he gets it, doesn't, but Onana on the ball, intercepts, goes for goal, and that is the first goal of the game, and that is important for our point of view. We, it's not the best strike in the world, it's not the best goalkeeper in the world, but I don't care. We've just taken the lead, and this could be two wins out of two in the opening two matches. We've not even made a major sign of, apart from that, though, really. And this has been a decent game, or a decent couple of games. Can we build from this? So, we've just won. 82nd minute, this feels like a massive three points, especially when it was literally considered a relegation derby, a relegation six-pointer when this game started, and... Three points is three points. I don't care how it comes as long as we get them. So that's been Sam. One, two out of two. And we're in fourth place. Not going to last. I know that for certain. This is just... It feels like it's a bit premature to really declare anything. And I'm expecting us to tumble out of the top seven and to be a mid-table team, really. But with Sheldra potentially on his way here, this could be interesting, said at least. But yes, two games out of two so far. We're doing quite well. Harlan's already got five goals in their Premier League, which is not surprising. And... How is Tarkovsky the second highest average rating so far? I guess because he scored in the first game, but yeah, that's a thing that's happened. What I'm going to do is end this here. Do you think that these two games we've won in the first two matches were just very easy matches we got given and it's a gift we got given them? Or do you think we can build on this and at least get a top half finish? Or do you think a mid-table or lower half finish is what we should be aiming for this season? I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on that down below. Either way, and next time... Bye and well, good night.